Welcome back to another great episode on the Black Suit United Africa Rising channel with Ben Carson. Now, the video you just watched is a group of Ghanaian high school students that went to Michigan in the United States to compete in world robotics. Once again, I didn't say Black's robotics, neither did I say African robotics, or did I say American robotics. I said world robotics competition. Now, this is a competition that is organized for high school students across the globe to come and showcase their robotics talents. Now, it has to do with some form of, you know, uh, mathematics, some sort of programming. Uh, it also has to do, you, you know, you know, those things, <laughs> the algebras and those things, you know, and it has to do with a practical aspect of actually putting certain robots together and showcasing what your robot can do and all that. Now, I'm telling you, this is a group of Ghanaian. Now, for those that are lost out of the contest, Ghana is a country, a small country, located in the western coast of Africa. So it's a West African country. Now, putting it back in context, it's in Africa. <laughs> it's a blackish country in Africa. They went to the World Robotics Competition, flew all the way from Ghana, probably in the world's economy of flight, to Michigan in the United States to participate in this contest and won it. Yeah, you had me right. They won it. Now, someone will be like, um, was there MIT guys in there? Oh, no. I said high school. But the same group of Americans that moved from the high school to the MITs, those guys were there. I mean, every country presented probably their best. And that's no joke. All right? So, the Indians were there. The Pakistanis were there. The Americans themselves were there. The Germans were there. I mean, when you talk about machines and robots and those things, the Japanese, they were there. The Taiwanese were there. The Singaporeans were there. Yet, the high schools, group, I mean, a group of students from a Ghanaian high school won the contest. Now, that got me thinking. I know someone will be like, eh, you are biased because you're from Ghana and all that. Trust me, if it had been won by a Rwandese high school, I would be here. If it had been won by a Kenyan high school, I would have been here. The only, the only place that would have won that I wouldn't be here, it's, let's say, um, a group of um, Irish high schools. <laughs> high schools today. Well, for the Irish, uh, please, I, uh, I don't have anything against you guys, but, you know, you are too white to be black. I mean, I'm talking about a black community, not even in the diaspora, but in Africa. You, you know, if you, if you want to think about it, Africa has been seen by the developed world as, um, Trump put it, a shithole country, or a group of shithole countries, right? Yes, I know we have our challenges, we have, we have electricity problem, we have even educational system problem, we are still sort of learning the colonial sort of books and history, instead of learning about our own ways of doing things. And so, yeah, putting it back in context, we were supposed to actually be last. 
and yeah when you talk about high schools Prempe is among the top like i mean the top five in the country probably or the top 10 in the country of ghana in terms of high schools in terms of the uh, academic records and all that but the, the the point is in terms of development infrastructure access to facilities to train people to be good and better in robotics ghana comes nowhere near the top does it have to do with the ingenuity of the student, like how brilliant they are or something? Well, probably. But then the point is, they are in Africa where they have limited access to some of these facilities. That will help them grow. And yet they came in there with their rudimentary skills, let me put it that way. They won the contest. Now, in contextualization again, I mean today I'm going to say a whole lot of things in contest. Ghana's education sector is actually changing for the better. And I know, I know a group of people in Ghana will still say Ghana's education is a mess. But you know, Ghana has a new education minister. I mean, he hasn't been new, but he's new. Um, I mean, he, he, he took power or he took charge of the education system about two or three years ago. He used to be deputy education minister. He wasn't even a politician in Ghana. Honorable Osei Yaoduchu. He is among the leading founders of the United States of America's Chartered Schools. And when our president, when he had just been elected, went to the United States, he saw him, he, he learned about him, and he backed him to come to Ghana to transform the education sector. This guy came in, and he's building STEM schools, science, technology, uh, 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 engineering, and mathematics, focused schools in Ghana. Government is repositioning our educational system anchored on STEM education. The President of the Republic of Ghana, Nana Nedanko Kufuado, has on numerous occasions indicated the country's determination to improve education delivery through science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM is being implemented, and this year, in our capacity, I was cited to introduce to you a number of institutions that are going to begin operations. For now, one school in the Northeast region, one in the Eastern region, two in the Central region are ready for operation. Welcome to Ghana STEM schools. These state-of-the-art learning centers have ultra-modern facilities, specially designed infrastructure and most of all are completely smart with digital connectivity and an integrated school management system. Our school management system will allow stakeholders to be part of the learning experience like never before. Amazingly, students, parents, teachers, administrators, and even the Minister for Education can access educational tools, demographic data, and school trends with a click. In addition to some of the most magnificent edifices and connectivity on the continent, Ghana STEM schools will feature expert STEM instructors, world-class laboratory equipment, and in a first for public education in Ghana, we will introduce STEM career pathways including computer science, aviation, aeronautics, engineering, biomedical science, and global studies. Students completing Ghana STEM schools will be prepared to transform Ghana, Africa, and the world. I encourage you, parents, students to take advantage of this rare opportunity to be educated in the 21st century school environment. You be the pioneers of students. You have a story to tell that the government gave you an opportunity to be educated in such a beautiful edifice with all the right equipment. And you delivered. You took advantage of it. And you proved to the world that a Ghanaian child can be the best engineer the world has ever known. Thank you. He, through his help, the free education in the high schools have been implemented. Ghana is sort of integrating engineering, mathematics, science in this practical form into the high school curriculum. And this has been like the past just three or four years. And look at the achievement these guys are, are coming up with. Imagine if we had started like 10 years ago. Now this is, this is, this is eye-opening for other African countries. I mean, if you, do, you have no idea as to how STEM works, 
You don't need to travel to Germany. You don't need to come to the States. Come to Ghana and learn about it. It's working. I mean, we are having our challenge because it's still in the implementation stage. Like I told you, it's three or four years ago. And this is what these students have achieved. This is huge. This is magnificent. I mean, I, I can't keep quiet about this. Yes, people will say, yeah, you are trying to blow the horn for the current government. Yes, yes, let me do that. There, there are so many things that are not going on, right? In fact, we have our power crisis now as I speak. But some of these things that has a long term, or some of these things that have long term, I mean, have really long term importance and, 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 and economic uh, uh, um, benefit to the country need to be mentioned. Because this achievement is not a minor one. Congratulations to the students of Prepper College. In fact, they come from the Garden City, the city of the King, Kumase. Yeah, the Sufalan boys. Congratulations, boys. And yeah, I'm from Kumase anyway. So, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. But anyway, that, that's a huge boost to get to the Ghanaian new educational sector and the curriculum. I think we, it's time we need to support some of these massive change, like this groundbreaking changes in the educational system. From the beginning, it will have challenges just like the Ghanaian education system is having. In fact, recently they were ranked, I think, 120th or whatever out of the world education system ranking, which is which is bad. But that is because we are still in the implementation stage. And if in the implementation stage, students, blacks, Africans, high school students who have limited access to facilities, robotics, science and technology, internet, computer, and all that can come up with this, this great achievement, if, if, if that curriculum or this new transition, if the STEM come to stay in Ghana, trust me, the world will not catch us. They, they will not be anywhere near us. And, and this goes to all other African countries, trust me. Africans are smart, brilliant, and yes, be, before, before modern uh, surgery, Africans were using herbs to operate brain surgery, opening, opening, scars of people with stones and rocks to perform brain surgery yes yes you can read about it the 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 i think the the bad side of some of these part of our history is because we fail to record them or maybe through conquest some of these history were bent so we so we don't have it we we don't have references to them because that's that's now how academics is broadened you put it you put a record somewhere reference and then it comes to be part of history but we don't have it but yeah, that's it. So major boost to Ghana's education system, which is now shifting to West Ham, which is bringing some of these major news. So I don't want to make it long, but that is it for you. Go read about it. High school student from Ghana went to Michigan in the United States just last week to win this remarkable award and achievement for the country and for their school. If you are still in a primitive education system, better come to Ghana and learn. Once again, my name is Bernard, and this is the Ben Carson channel speaking about an Africa that is rising. Black through tonight. See you when I see you.